Earlier today, we had to say goodbye to a legend here at TI6. Puppy got knocked out of the tournament, and now we're going to potentially say, well, we have to say goodbye to one of his former teammates. We're trying to harass and trade hits, but General not going to be too worried about this. And this has kind of been Liquid's weakness throughout this tournament, just weak laning phases, which eventually lead to a snowballing mid-game for the enemy team. We're already starting to see that here as Jarek's going to get down, and General does have a lot of stacks of poison on him, but... From the left side, here comes Art Style trying to get that first blood. He is going to be able to try and go straight for Jerex. He's got the ensnare ready to go. He will be able to lock down Jerex. Let's see if they can actually finish him off. The disruption comes down from Jerex. Art Style dropping lower and lower. Tries to go for the neutral deny. Not good enough. And neutrals instead will deny Art Style. That was the best possible scenario for Navi as Art Style low anyways. As he's going to make his way back up top. They are robbing maybe a little bit too cocky as Seneko has left this lane. The Sentry Ward is going to spot him out. Maybe too late, he's already slowed down. He's got the phase boots. Might be able to stay ahead of mind control. Gets the sprout, but the call is there. They finish him off. Liquid evening out the score, but Denny here with some vengeance. Has the double damage rune. He does not want to blink forward into this mind control. He's got a blink. Kuro actually takes a large amount of damage. Has an is ready to go. Dendi. He's going to no go for a scream damage. again. Is he going to get it? He's going to go oh, for he gets it! Him. Dendi reads it perfectly against Kuro. So this oh, that was an aggressive blink from Dendi. And they're going to find a haste rune, oh, too. No, this goes from bad to worse, Dendi. That blink forward thought the six-minute rune would be all his, but he gets punished immediately by a turn of fates. In phase. Hard style, the priest of the jungle keeps the face, sticks around that middle lane, finds his opening, rotating behind Fada. Picks up the kill with the help of Dendi's TPN. And Kuro might actually spot this out. This Rain's would be the best possible tower. scenario for Liquid. They might not get either of them as they do, they do have the dust available. They're going to TP behind them. They've got him. They managed to get the dust up. The Sprout surrounds him and Snake with the extra nukes. Ready, almost level five. And Jerex, he's going to run into Art Style here who doesn't have mana available and it looks like they want to try to make a move. They should be able to surround him without a problem. General does have the Chronosphere. Oh, he found it! What a perfect Chronosphere hitting three. They're going to go for the kill on Jerex. Will be able to claim that one. And Art Style still gets away. What an initiation from General. And now Kuro may still be picked off. Goes Got the Sonic Wave. The screen. Sonic Wave goes out. Dendi, he actually managed to pick up the Scream. He has an Arcane Rune. He has another Scream of Pain. Makes the guess this time around he will not be. Goes for the early Vlads. They've actually got a pretty heavy amount of physical damage for this lineup. Kuro is going to pop the smoke here on both. Seneko holding on to the dust and it might be too late. They spot out Kuro. Kuro's going to be caught now by Tendi. They know it too. He just gets out the track, tries to throw, lay out some damage with the Shuriken. But his life is claimed. He runs into the smoke though. That was aimed towards ganking up mind control. Saving his life may actually be worth the death of Kuro there. Yeah, you're okay when one of your supports just runs into something like that, especially if you don't lose a core here as Art Style dipping a little bit low, but Liquid gets the heal up, starts turning around, having faith in this nature's attack. Gotta be careful, there is a chrono available for They've General. Got it too, with the Art Style on the back lines, they should easily be able to get the kill on Fada until Matamba Man slows things down with a Song of Siren. Dendi, he has another bling up in five seconds, don't think they're gonna be oh, able Matumba to Man's actually quite low for this. They're gonna try and chase down Matumba Man, but here comes Mind Control, he's got the Vanguard too. They turn around onto Fada, he still has the Exorcism, another Spirit Siphon as well. General not getting lucky with the bashes until that said, he gets called up, oh no! He ends up going down the call out oh, with Denny in the back line. He takes out two. Matumba Man, just a sliver of HP. Running away from Seneko, but Seneko's now Seneko's really good. Well Seneko got it. Dives into the tier two, successfully killing the core. He nice. trades his way, his own life, but even with the track kill, it may be worth it for Na'Vi. Barely finds that angle is because of the track, it does go in favor of Liquid. He's ready for it. So they know the wards placed behind the tier one, tier two now. And they're going to run into this. So Seneko, he's got the dust. They've got smoked up heroes, though. They actually have Dichira TPing into them. The Exorcism goes out. It's all about Fada right now. Will he be able to survive through any burst damage incoming? That silence stopped any attempt by Na'Vi. No spells whatsoever from General or Dendi. This might just be a five-on-five -five fight as Na'Vi, oh, yes. they're here in full force. This could get real nasty real quickly. They do have General on the side with a fresh Blink Dagger, and they've already managed to pick off Kuro. If they can get more here, especially a core, this would be huge for them. Blink forward. Do you get a bash? Oh, first hit bash for General. Just in time, Fada goes out the Spirit Siphon. But here comes that burst damage. He doesn't have the opportunity to get away from that one. Jerex with the TP out. Blink forward. Oh, the spear misses. Missing. General thought he was going to get a third hero from Liquid. Ward placed out by Sinenko. It's going to be a huge fight. They're going to make the jump, but General gets the blink. 
Quick reactions there from General. Now he has the opportunity to respond. He's going to time walk forward. Double Chronosphere. The rest of the team blinking forward. Dendi, no! Couldn't get off the Sonic Wave in time. Matumba Man puts everything to a halt with the Song of Siren. Now Mind Control. He's going to go straight for Sinego. Wants to be able to take out that support first, but he gets off the ultimate. Dendi silenced up. BKB activated by Fauna. The Exorcism will manage to finish him off with the Cooling Blade. Curl will be taken out by Art Style, looks like. But Art Style surrounded by a sea of liquid heroes. And on the right hand side, it looks like, oh, the ultimate comes out from Dendi. He, he managed to at least pick up a support there, but Mind Control still managed to claim a counter kill and Liquid win the fight with an exorcism still out on top of a tier 2 tower. And they win it handily because they forced Dendi to go for the buyback. Liquid just reset the pace of the game. The worst possible thing again is Dendi's item timings have just completely fallen off as he is desperate to try to get some measure of farm as Artstyle in this mid lane. Track on him. Shuriken will bounce over as well. Some man's running man. forward. Hope to be able to get off the ensnare. Now my control actually will force that through. Managed to get the call on two. Calling blade one. Couldn't get the other for oh, the I move. I think they know that Ra's up there. They spot him out one second there with a the shadow poison, but no disables to be able to stop him. Now general. Oh, got to be careful. Not there. afford to get picked off here. He's going to be silenced up almost immediately. Won't be able to get a blink or a time walkout. Mind control with the double kill and another tier two tower going to be forfeited by Navi. And Navi's just getting sloppy right now. The pressure's starting to mount. Now is clutch time for them as they cannot afford to lose another fight as Liquid is just taking too much real estate around the map. Dendi reluctant to fight though without that BKB or the buyback available and this is going to lead to Liquid just continuing to push in. Navi, now he comes back, but where's the fight for them? Dendi with that Ags, oh no, oh, he, he got way too far forward. Now he's going to be ensnared up, silence as well. They There's no the buyback staff available! The staff counter. Mind Control comes forward, gets the Culling Blade once again, and Ditcher Ra left with nothing but right clicks. Cannot keep Liquid off of this tier 3 tower. Liquid, 15 more seconds still, until General is up with the Chronosphere. Navi cannot afford to lose any more individual heroes, especially not Kors. And here comes Art Style. Oh, Art Style thought he was going to be able to get a bit more damage on a bot up, but he said they couldn't afford another pick off, and it just happened. Liquid starts streaming forward, chasing Ditchia Raw back. The Exorcism beating onto the melee racks. It's just before the 30 minute marker, but now the Chronosphere comes in with the buyback. They need to be able to pop Vada, and they can't quite do it. The Exorcism about to fade. He's going to TP out. Everybody from Liquid going to make the clean escape here. Oh. Navi desperate oh. to try to pursue. They use buybacks for this. But instead, they're going to be able to save the racks. Max didn't get any hero kills on Liquid. They have to get something. This is an all in attempt by them. Investment. They can't afford to die or lose this Aegis themselves as Liquid are going to start marching forward. There is no Naga Siren available for Liquid, so this might be a decent fight for Navi, and this might be the best one they find as they do have that Chrono. And it's, it's going to be all about the angles. They have to full commit right now because there's 10 more seconds until the Song of Siren is back up. Matumba oh, Man no streaming though. in with the illusions, though. And now the initiation. Mind Control managing to get the call out on Art Style. They surround him. Good old from Dendi from the side, but it's just not quite enough. It's not putting a big enough dent in these cores. It's Liquid are just pushing through the right-hand side. Na'Vi getting quickly surrounded. Dijera also going to go down. And Na'Vi... Splinter apart, leaving Roshan now in the hands of Liquid. Come on, Sprite. In which case, they need to be the ones to determine the tempo. General managed to get the time walk away from Mike. Might be the opening they need. Bouncing a lot of damage back. Art style in the middle of this. And Echo is going to be the first one down, though. Fada managed to get the silence on him. Yule Scepter on a general, stalling out the Chronosphere as best as possible. Now, disruption as well. Fada, BKB. Just not the fight that Liquid now wants. The Chronosphere comes in. They will eliminate Fada, but my Control gets the Culling Blade chop. A Tumba Man right in the middle of Navi's base, looking for more. Mind Control finds it. We'll be able to provide the assist with the Blade Mail. Another dunk. Liquid take out three of Navi and back out of Navi's base. And it looks like they want to transition this into a bottom tower push as Fada commits the buyback. They smell blood. They know that Navi just simply do not have the items to contest them. They're going to start flooding into this bottom tower and they want a second lane of Rax. They could end it all here, 40 seconds left on Dendi. But this is simultaneously an opening if somehow Navi gets a, a miracle hold against Liquid and can kill Fada a secondary time. But as I say that, Ditcher They cannot afford now to lose heroes like this. On again, one after another. Mind Control finding the pickoffs is beyond godlike right now. And Navi have no hopes in being able to save this second lane of Rax. 15 more seconds until Dendi's up. Another 45 until Ditcher's Fury on July. I think Na'Vi, they have to learn their lessons, give up this set of racks, reset the fight, and at least try to find around that top lane of racks instead of just suiciding. 
hero after hero, and it looks like they're going to do just that. Without five available, I don't think Na'Vi want to take this. They can't afford to lose this one, and this is going to be the perfect target Andrew for them to get. From behind, they're going to try and pop Matumba Man as fast as possible. The disruption! Oh no, the save! And Matumba Man is back out with half HP. Still has a Song of Siren. Aren't they going to be able to get this kill? There's oh, they're just the going to reset this fight. Bada with the BKB exorcism out, Matumba Man will give himself some space, and Na'Vi gonna have to dig themselves out of a hole here. Fit Jijira trying to get to some distance with the Hurricane's peg, not gonna be the case. Daneko is gonna be able to survive for only a second extra. General, the only one to escape, but he too will fall as Na'Vi call it. The end of the game and the end of their run here at DI comes down as you can see how excited Liquid are. Now they get to get to the best of threes where things aren't so random, but for Na'Vi, this is where it's going to all end. And a disappointing finish for them as they go home after losing just one game to Liquid. And Truly a team that was ramping up going into the international. People were talking about it, the, the Na'Vi magic, it was coming back, but as they go into the international, they falter and will be one of our first teams out. The hope stay alive though for Liquid is they're going to move forward to face the loser of EG versus Newbie. And that's going to conclude our day as four teams are gone. Unbelievable. The level of play here at the International, the best we've seen so far, and it's only day number one. These teams that have been knocked out, very respectful.